apologies for rotating the camera. So I'm just wiring in the Renergy 20 amp DC to DC charger. So with these units, you need an ignition feed. There's a few videos online, obviously. Um, some of them are really good. Some of them are a bit poor at explaining. Uh, I'm currently building a Transit Custom high top uh, 2015. So what I have done is if I just come around there, I've already ran the starter cable, the starter battery cable. And it runs in behind my control panel, through the panels along here, and then the red cable there comes out there. And then what there is on the Transit Custom, as in most transits, there is what they call a CCP, which is a customer connection point. So just in there, there's an eight mil fixing where you can put a ring terminal on onto the cable. So with that, I will put an inline fuse in there closest to the battery. Obviously the cable will run then to the DC to DC charger. And then you also need a negative as well. And the same with the leisure battery side of it. So you'll need a positive and negative to the leisure battery. But I'm also with this unit, excuse me, crappy uh, camera work you need a d plus cable so there's ignition basically it's an ignition feed so when you turn the engine on it energizes the dc to dc charger so this will be this brown cable here i'm just going to put a ferrule on it a ferrule on it so it's a nice fitting neat fitting and then the cable runs in this white cable i'm leaving it inside there and just sheathing back one of them it's a twin core just to give it added protection so, and then on the Transit Custom, you have to remove the seat, disconnect the battery, take the battery out, take the battery tray out, and then what you are shown is a couple of plugs down the side which you don't have access to while the battery's in place. And in this Transit Custom, just grab me a uh, meter probe so I can show you. This plug here, there's two pins in there that are actually ignition feed. It's the purple, it's the uh, purple one here and this yellow and blue one. So I'm going to take off the yellow and blue one because it's a heavier gauge cable. I'm going to use that as my ignition feed because it's dead when the keys are out and it's live once the vehicle's running. And that'll be my ignition feed for the D+. Plus. So I'm going to splice into that or I'll either take a pin connection on here. An inline fuse just to give me some protection. And from there, it will join to my cable here, the white cable, obviously the live cable inside that, through the fan to that point there, which is then D plus. And then obviously I'll have my two cables coming from the output side of the energy, positive and negative. And in the positive side of it, closest to the leisure battery, ignore that battery. That's just a tester battery for me to test the circuits as I'm going along. Um, I will have a fuse near the battery so both circuits then starter battery and leisure battery are both protected and that's, that's kind of it really it's fairly straightforward the Victron gear they literally need a positive and a positive supplying one from the vehicle to the unit and one from the unit to the leisure battery obviously fused both sides of it and then a negative and then an earth just to give it a negative just to give it an earth system so so yeah so I'm just going that, but I just thought I'd do you a quick video, guys, of that, showing you how how it is and how straightforward it is to wire in. And then, obviously, on the side here, these are your battery control switches. So, depending on what battery you have, it's in the manual, uh, whether you have lithium, AGM, or standard lead-acid battery. Depends on how you have those pins set on and off and stuff like that, because you can set voltages for it to kick in, kick out, and things like that, and then battery type. So... So yeah, in the manual is that, so I'll be reading that to set it up for a lead acid battery. And then if the lady wants to improve it with lithium or AGM, she can do it at the time then. And then I will explain how she goes through with that. So, But that's as straightforward as it can be. So I hope this video um, is helpful. And I'm just currently obviously kitting out the 12 watt side of it. I've got the Renergy Solar Charge Control MPPT. And then I've got my fuse board. And then everything's neat and tidy coming through there. And then there'll be a top on this that you can remove if you ever need to do maintenance, gain access, etc, etc. So yeah, hope that helps guys. Cheers for now, bye bye.